Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. So I'm here at Oldham Stanton today and the reason I'm here is because uh, I want to test out my new lens, uh, which I got yesterday, which is a uh, Canon 17 to 40 millimeter F4L. Uh, the reason I've come here is because the sort of shot that I want to get uh, with this lens, this place is very conducive to it few people down here this morning actually for just before sunrise I'm really quite surprised at how many people there are here I'm not sure what they're doing looks like they're uh, I don't know what they're doing actually maybe there's a vlogging convention on I don't know anyway um, what was I saying forgotten too much yapping yeah so the reason I'm the reason I'm here today is because I bought a new lens and uh, it's a super wide angle and it lends itself to uh, shots with uh, sort of big foregrounds and big skies uh, and there's some really cool rocks here um, and the rock pools that are knocking about and I think that they would uh, really lend themselves to this type of lens and this type of angle. So I'm going to head down to the rock pools and see if I can set up some shots uh, to take advantage of the uh, extra uh, focal length. Is it focal length? Would it be extra focal length or lack of focal length? Hmm. Well, the extra wide angle that I can get from this lens. I'll see you down there. Turns out I'm here on a day when the North Norfolk Photographic Society have decided to come out for their, uh, I don't know, annual, might be, or one of their trips. So I've got plenty of company, um, which is fine, which is fine. It's just going to make it more difficult for me to find compositions because there's going to be photographers in pretty much every shot. But that's cool because I love a bit of photography and it's nice to see, uh, nice to see people out. Honest, honest, it is, it's really nice, it is. I'm really enjoying all these other people being here. It's, it's great, it's good. It's good. Yeah. I suppose I better try and find somewhere to take a shot. Got four little rocks here in the foreground that are just in uh, with the tide coming in, sitting in the water. And uh, I'm shooting it portrait and I'm just trying to get a nice decent enough exposure of it um, it's about a second and a bit at the moment just ever so slightly flattening this really dead calm sea today so it's just flattening it out even more uh, and just getting these four in sort of a bit of a fine art looking shot whether it comes out or not I'm not 100% sure yet but uh, the water's a bit where I've walked in, the water's a bit brown and murky, so I might have to do something with that in post. Um, I'm not sure. It's so beautifully calm and serene out here this morning. Um, it's really lovely. The, uh, the, the water, the wash is like a mill pond. It's just so flat. Uh, it's really, really nice. I've just, uh, just taken another shot here with the uh, 17 to 40 mil on at, at, uh, at its widest angle. I'm just catching this uh, 
just catching this little shell in the foreground with a couple of rocks that are being lapped, that are having the uh, waves lap against them in the uh, mid-ground up to the... I don't think there's any sky in it actually, I think it's completely sea in the background and that may, might make quite a nice fine art shot. These rocks are the real reason I came here, uh, but finding some sort of pattern in them is proving to be difficult. Uh, I really would have liked it if the tide would have been in and I could have got some uh, water around them uh, to make them look more ethereal, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be here long enough for the tide to come in that far. Uh, which is a shame. There is some uh, uniformity to the rocks, or a little bit of uniformity to the rocks, but not a huge amount. So at the moment, I'm struggling a little bit trying to find some sort of order uh, to the chaos. There's something quite interesting about this little line of rocks leading out here, but uh, it's not amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to lie, it's not the most amazing shot in the world. Um, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, could could probably do with a tide in. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I would just struggle here anyway. Um, I think that the ones out by the water edge, by the water's edge, probably will look quite nice. But these ones around the rocks, they're just, they're just far more tricky. Um, for me, anyway, far more tricky. Uh, isolating out patterns is not really my thing. So I'm just wondering if there's a shot to be had here behind me. Uh, there's some lovely green seaweed on top of a lot of these rocks here. And then you've got this cliff with its two tone colours running along the left hand side as you look at it, taking your eye away. Um, probably going to shoot a panoramic here I think. Uh, there's a bit of rubbish in the background. There's also a little bit of rubbish in the foreground which I'll probably need to get rid of in a post. But I'm, I'm weighing it up. I'm going to have a look. I could do with a bit of sunlight on the cliffs, but I'm not going to get that. So polarizers on though, which is really bringing out the green uh, of this uh, seaweed that's on the rocks. So best I can do really here is shoot it, have a look.
as much as it was lovely to see the uh, Norfolk Photographic Society or North Norfolk Photographic Society I think they were called out here I'm quite pleased they've gone because they weren't too bad around the rocks and that but they all congregated around this wreck uh, and it's one of the things I also came here to take a shot of uh, I can't remember what it's called uh, I'll put it up uh, on the screen so you can see it uh, it's some sort of steam something or another I'm not sure about the story behind it but it's uh, it's an interesting enough shot uh, it's perfect for this wide angle lens super wide angle lens 17mm get it right in close someone's kindly left me a nice little shell on the front uh, no doubt someone from the photographic society uh, so yeah I'm just getting that lovely distorted look that you can only really get with a really wide angle lens. Right, well that's me done. Um, finished here and uh, managed to keep uh, the same lens on for the whole trip so I must have made some use of it whether the pictures turn out or not uh, we'll see we'll have to wait and see uh, not 100% sure but um, I don't know might have got one or two nice ones out of it uh, anyway thanks for watching as always uh, I really appreciate it uh, I've just gone over 300 subscribers uh, yesterday I think so brilliant thank you so much for everyone who subscribes and in fact you know what thank you even if you don't subscribe just for watching Thank you so much. It means a lot. It really does mean a lot, and I really do appreciate it. So, uh, not going to do the whole like subscribe thing, but you know, if you want to like subscribe, <laughs> but I'm not doing that. Sort of. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. <laughs>